So have you heard about the Ebola uh, zombies? You know, the uh, zombies in Africa, they're rising uh, from the dead. Uh, there's, if you uh, do Google search for Ebola zombie, you'll notice that uh, it's in the last 24 hours that it's going pretty viral about the fact, or the so-called fact, that Africa confirms a uh, third Ebola victim rises from the dead. Okay? And, uh, you know, you can, there's tons of these articles. You know? Now, all of these journalists have done their background work, right? They know that what they're saying, writing about here and what they're scaring the shit out of you about is real, right? Well, let's take a look. Here's one of the articles. Africa confirms 30 Ebola victims rise from the dead. Releases picture of the first Ebola, you know, the uh, zombies. This whole zombie thing that they've been pushing for, what, two years now, guys? You know, three years maybe? Uh, I mean, ever since we were kids, you know, we heard about the zombies. But this is an article that is, and as I just showed you, there are tons of them. Is saying that that's the case. Now here's our zombie. Okay, it's a bad looking dude, right? Red eyes, holes on his face. I mean, that's rough looking if you've seen it coming up the street, right? But you gotta understand, this is fake. It's fake. I'm gonna show you 100%. No. Nope. Not 99%, 100%, because I don't want y'all guys to be afraid of this stuff, you know. They're going to scare the shit out of you, and they're going to make it look like there's a whole bad situation here, and you need to get an immunization. You need to get the immunization that that um, that uh, Bill Gates uh, has to sell to you. Bill Gates, he owns the, as some of you probably know, he owns the, uh, he is one of the owners in the Ebola vaccine patent. Now, of course, the United States has four patents uh, for the Ebola virus. Bill Gates and a few other organizations own the vaccine for the Ebola virus. And they, got, they want you to get this vaccine bad. They haven't said it yet, but it's coming. Now George Soros, he was one of the people who funded the CDC to be set up originally. Yeah, you think it's a government organization. It's not. It's just like the Federal Reserve. It's a private organization, private corporation, the CDC. George Soros, he uh, funded it to be set up. He happens to also own the clinic in Sierra Leone, Africa that, in fact, uh, the Ebola virus originally broke out of, broke out from, right? Broke out. I'd say it was let out. You see, George Soros, he also uh, was a major investor in the, uh, the, the new series, the, you know, where the zombie, the zombies took over Atlanta, Georgia, you know, the recent one that's been on the internet, uh, the series and I can't recall the name at the moment, but he was an investor in that. If you do a little search and you'll find out not only he was an investor, that many of the people who starred in that show go to his meetings, go to his conventions, and so on. So George Soros, he funded all this, controls uh, the whole situation until you get to the part where you need a solution, which is the you know this virus is, is going crazy and it's it's gonna kill millions and and uh, now I'm not gonna say that they won't kill millions you know uh, because I will tell you something right now that the the Illuminati uh, they they're number one target on this planet and there's a lot of targets okay and um, if you're listening to this message you're one of them but their number one target is 
African Americans. And number two is Africa. Or let's just round that down into number one is Africans. Black people. They have this thing where they want to wipe them out. I'm not kidding you. Um, I know this to be the truth. And they want to wipe them out. So would I be surprised if a million people in Africa died or about 30 million? I wouldn't be surprised then because this is a genocide that's taking place. Uh, they are not only attacking the, the Africans, they are attacking anybody that's against them that is not a Satanist. I know I said that word, didn't I? Satanist, like, oh, this guy's crazy, you know. Hey, buddy, if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I suggest you not to discount me and to consider at least doing some research on what I'm talking about because the Satanists are in control. Now, when I was uh, growing up, never believed in that kind of thing, and I even discovered it to, for myself that hell doesn't exist somewhere else when you go to die and you, that kind of thing. Hell is here. You are in and witnessing hell. And they are developing it for us, and most people of the planet, unfortunately, are eating it up, and they're contributing to it. But I digress. Let's go back to this photo. Let's go back to this situation. Africa confirms 30 Ebola victims rise from the dead. And this says this is one of the one of the people that are rising from the dead. Okay? This is one of the zombies that rose from the dead, okay? Here's the second page of that article and it helps me uh, remember what I'm talking about here, which is the The Walking Dead. That was the name of the show I was referring to earlier, okay? The Walking Dead. Now, they're saying that there is a, a pair of people in their 60s and 40s that have uh, risen from the dead. When they went to bury them, they rose from the dead. And that uh, this guy was, in fact, one of them. Now, I claimed 100% I was going to be able to show you that this is bullshit. All right, here we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to use that image, which I saved to my desktop. We're gonna use that image and we are going to do a image search, a Google Images search. I get to choose it. So let's do that image search. Click on the camera, click upload an image, click browse, go to thumbnails here. Hang on. Go to thumbnails. Pull it all the way down. Find my photo. There he is, right? Google it. Google the image. Alright, let's take a look and see what we got here. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, that's our image. Alright. Let's come on down. So, what I did was I started looking through this stuff and I found the answer. If you come on down here, you can see all the zombie stuff, you know, talking about this guy's alive in, in Africa, right? But if you come right here, see this one? Let's take a look at this. Here's our guy, right? Is that the same guy? Let's take a look. All right. See the thing above the eye? See this lip? See this lip and this side of the face? See this thing on his forehead? Take away the hair. This is a Photoshop photo. Thing on the eye, lip, lip, side of the face. This thing up here. Now, of course, they degraded the quality of that photo in order to try to sell it. Now, where'd this photo come from? This photo came from Hollywood. See, it says Shell Sculpture Studio. It's like, okay. How'd it come from Hollywood? Well, this guy just happened to create most of everything you've seen when it comes to sci-fi and zombies. I'll show you here. Okay. Here's our guy. Okay, here we are still on the site. And we're at the About option here. We're taking a look. 
at where this, who created this? It says this sculpture, it says the Shell Sculpture Studio offers the finest creation and character design available anywhere. The studio has been providing concept art in the industry for over 10 years, and the owner and head designer, uh, Jordu Shiel, has, Shields, nice name, buddy, has been in the uh, film and television industry since 1987. His, his talent as a designer and sculptor is world renowned, and his credits include Avatar, The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, 300, Hellboy, Aliens, vs. Predator, The Men in Black, Mist, Batman Returns, Batman Returns, and the list goes on and on X Files, Predator, Babylon 5, and the list goes on and on. So the point is, guys. This is 100%. This gentleman created, I call, I say gentleman with a little bit of hesitation to be quite honest, with the people that he's involved in and the fact that his image is now being used, modified, to scare the shit out of the entire planet. So now, maybe this guy doesn't know. But we're going to give him his spotlight because we want him to make that image go away. We want him to make sure that people will stop spreading this lie that people are turning into zombies. Whatever you got to do, partner, you got to sue these people or whatever. If you don't, then you're part of it, brother. So you need to do something about it. So there you have it. 100% clear evidence. This is fake. 99% of everything you see that comes out of your television or radio and, and about 90% 90, 90 of what you see that hits the internet is fake and is meant to brainwash your mind, to manipulate your reality and to make you believe that something exists that does not. How much bullshit do you got to swallow before you realize you're eating turds? Logic. Before authority.